Many fathers dream of tossing the ball around with their children in the backyard, but for one family, that dream has had to wait until now. This is Carol Daniel. John Ashby is a sports fan through and through, and baseball is his lifeblood. So when he found out he was having a son, all he could think of was transferring his love of sports into his child. But his son, AJ, was born almost five months premature, weighing just one pound, three ounces. Both eyes, both retinas were detached, and they uh, performed, geez, Within the first week, I think he had probably six surgeries, not just on his eyes, but on other things. The surgeries helped AJ's right retina to attach, but they couldn't achieve the same result with his left eye. His vision now is about 40%. I felt instantly that, you know, I had to protect him. I had to do whatever I could to make him survive, help him be stronger, let him know that it's going to get better. Ashby says that in AJ's first two days of life, doctors weren't even sure he'd make it at all. But he did. And now he's 15. I I wanted to play a lot of sports. And it really bummed me out when I found out I couldn't. But tomorrow, AJ and his father will get to play baseball together for the first time in the 12th annual Ultimate Beep Ball Tournament with Mind's Eye. All players will be blindfolded except the pitcher and catcher. The softball beeps and the bases are foam columns. So what is AJ looking forward to the most? Hitting the ball as hard as I can, which would then activate the buzzing of the base, and then me running full speed into that base, tackling it to the ground, This evening at 5.30 on Total Information PM, A.J. explains how his father helped him to deal with bullies. Carol Daniel, News Radio 1120 KMOX. A.J. is Mind's Eyes ambassador of Beatball. And by the way, if you go to KMOX.com, there is a video of people playing Beatball. It's pretty amazing. I'm a huge fan of A.J. right now. And everybody (laughs) involved in Beatball, that's been going on for a long Mm -hmm. time, including some folks here at KMOX who are involved. We really appreciate everybody's involvement. A father and his 15-year-old son will get to play baseball together tomorrow for the very first time. A.J. has not been able to play any sports because he's blind. Born five months premature, his father, John Ashby, says it was touch and go for his one-pound, three-ounce child. They put him in my hands, and we ran down the hallway from the delivery room to to the NICU, and the doctors couldn't do it, and they had stuff all over them. They put put him in my hands, and I ran with him down the hallway. It was It was intense surgery was able to repair one retina and his vision today is about 40 percent. That means Ashby's dream of teaching his son how to play sports appeared out of reach. That is until organizers did a beat ball demonstration at his school. The oversized softball beeps and the bases are foam columns. All players are blindfolded except the pitcher and catcher. And Ashby just got the call that this is the first year son AJ is old enough to play. So AJ could play? He goes, yeah, he'll be able to play. And I was like, oh, my God, AJ is going to be so excited. AJ says while he used to be bummed he couldn't play sports, now he plays video games. But he is looking forward to this baseball game tomorrow. Uh, Smack the ball as hard as I can. And tackling a big foam thing. Carol Daniel, News Radio 1120 KMOX. The 12th annual Ultimate Beatball Tournament with Mind's Eye is this weekend, and we do have video at KMOX.com of exactly what that looks like. More now on a story KMOX first brought you this morning. Playing baseball with your dad may seem like a normal activity, but not for AJ. The 15-year-old was born nearly five months premature with detached retinas. He has 40% vision today. His father's a sports fan through and through. And tomorrow, for the the first time, they'll take part in the 12th annual Ultimate Beatball Tournament. All players will be blindfolded except the pitcher and the catcher. The softball beeps and the bases are foam columns. AJ says growing up had its difficulties, but he explains how his father helped him. So I got teased and bullied a lot when I was younger. And then dad introduced me to the wonders of comedy. So I was like, I can do that. So then through the years, I've developed my amazing sarcasm skills. (laughs) And it's gotten me into interesting situations. So it sounds like you use it to diffuse. Yeah, it's like it's like a, it's a coping mechanism, you could say. 
And AJ is considered Mind's Eye's ambassador of beatball and apparently a 15-year-old after my own heart because as soon as he said sarcasm, that's my eyes lit up. I'm you like, know, anybody I, that can use sarcasm in a good way? In a good way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just would not have thought. I met him, his father, his stepmother, and his little sister, whom he said, I asked, what do you do in your spare time? He said, I terrorize my sister. <laughs> <laughs> because of course. Uh, because of course, because that's what 15-year-old brothers do. Um, but I just was so... Stunned is not the right word when I asked him, what was it like growing up? And when did you know that you were not like other kids? And um, and that's when he told the story of his father introducing him to comedy as a way to handle the bullying and him him saying, yeah, so I use sarcasm to get me out of a lot of a lot of situations. And that's really I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect that. So in addition to, you know, using comedy to get over bullying and things like that, this uh, the story about beatball. Right. Th- this this is something that, you know, I, I didn't know this existed until you made me aware of it this morning. So um, when you were talking to him, when he first realized that this was something that he could participate in and finally be somebody who plays sports, you know, that, that had to be huge for him. It, huge for him and huge for his father. His father's a huge baseball fan. Um, when he found that he was having a son, that's one thing that he thought of, you know, teaching my son how to play ball and, and going to games with him and realizing that he could not do that. They saw this demonstration at his school of beatball. Mind's Eye is an organization that um, you can go and you can volunteer and you can read for people who are blind. Um, and so it's a fundraiser for them. So they saw this demonstration. He this year is only old enough now to play for the first time. So they've known about beatball for years this is the first year they'll be able to play. And he said to me, I said, what are you looking forward to? And he goes, whacking the ball and tackling that dummy. The bases are all these foam dummies. So I said, so it's like, so it's like wrestling and baseball for you. So they're going to have a blast tomorrow. I'm looking forward to hearing all about it for you sure. You will on KMOX um, and, Sunday and Monday. And hopefully the weather cooperates. Um, we're getting a chance of some, uh, I guess, some spot showers maybe talking a lot about the Cardinals and Matheny's firing, but there was some other baseball going on. All of my hits were fouls. How did it feel to hit the ball? Exhilarating. That's 15-year-old A.J. Ashby. He got to play baseball for the first time in his life with his dad on Saturday, and we were there. Carol Daniel introduced us to the Ashby's Friday as they prepared to play beep ball, where the ball and bases beep like this. The bases are tackle dummies, and they beep as well. A.J. was born one pound, three ounces, and has about 40% vision, but 100% sense of humor. We asked about the best part of the day. We went to the concession stand, and their pretzels are delicious. Let me tell you. Saturday was the largest blind baseball tournament in the world, and it was held right here in St. Louis. On Friday, Carol Daniel introduced us to A.G. AG Ashby and his dad, John. A.J. has very limited vision but a love for sports. Saturday, he and his dad played baseball together for the first time, and we were there. It was it was harder it was harder than I thought. A.J. played in the largest blind baseball tournament in the world held right here in St. Louis. It's called Beep Ball, the ball, and bases beep. It gave the 15-year-old a chance to play ball with his dad, something a lot of kids and dads take for granted. Watching him actually make contact and then run as fast as he did. I'm like, holy cow, legs. I've never seen him run that fast, ever. And he was flying. And well, I, I, if I, I was pitching, so I think I can count six times he made solid contact. A team from Lighthouse for the Blind took the title this year.